One of the things that I get asked the most about is how I get my teeth so white. And today I'm gonna to share with you what I do to get my teeth so white, but I'm also going to share with you something that has been completely life-changing for me. And that is a statement that I don't take lightly. So before we get started, I'm gonna show you a picture of my shirt today. And I will make sure that I leave all the information for my shirt, my clothing, all of my jewelry, my makeup, everything will be down in the description box listed so that you can look at it. And the links will be there for you too if you'd like to shop that way. I get asked every time in a video about my outfit and different things I have on. So I make sure that I list all of those in every single video for you. Okay, so what is this video about? This video is about oil pulling and how I get my teeth so white and not just about whitening my teeth but also my oral health and how that has changed so drastically and when I go to the dentist the dentist is seeing noticeable changes and noticeable noticeably different changes in my gum health my breath is different everything about my oral hygiene has gotten so much better and I know that I've talked to you about this product before it's Guru Nanda oil pulling rinse now, this product has completely blown me out of the water. The research dates back hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So this is actually an ancient remedy that has been updated for today. Now, if any of you suffer with bad breath, you know that there's something in your mouth, either microbes or something in your mouth that is giving you bad breath. A lot of people attest that to the stomach. Now, for me, I can tell usually when it's somebody that has a stomach problem, their breath will be sour or it will just be a different smell to their breath. If you have a diabetic problem, it'll be a sweetness to their breath that is off. But when you just have some sort of a microbe or some sort of a gum problem or something like that, that's a completely different thing that we usually try to hide with mouthwashes or rinses or stuff like that. I have never been able to use mouthwash because mouthwash burns and I've just never been able to rinse with it for very long. I can put it in my mouth, swish it around like once or twice and that's it. But with the oil pulling, it's a whole different animal. What oil pulling does is you take a little bit of this product and this is the cup that you use right here. Now they tell you to use a tablespoon. That's about how much I do, maybe a little less. I fill it about halfway full and then put it in my mouth. Let me tell you before I get to how to use it, I want to tell you what's in this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read to you what is in here and it it talks about there being spearmint, tea tree oil, peppermint, coconut oil, obviously, vitamins D, E, and K2, which promote bone health, oregano, fennel, and cardamom increase saliva production, which I didn't even know about, and then clove supports gum health. The tea tree oil also supports gum health, so that, so that you know that. I guess they could turn this around so you can see the front. So this not only has all of the really good ingredients in it that you want the coconut oil and the mint but then they go beyond that they put in these different things that are designed for bone health and for gum health my gums have done an absolute 180 when i would go to the dentist my gums would be tender at times they would be swollen there would be problems you know up in the gum line and they were always telling me do more flossing you know do more rinsing and i couldn't do the rinsing because of what i said about the mouthwash being so very hot in my mouth because there's so much alcohol content in them this doesn't have any alcohol it doesn't have any preservatives in it it's just an all-natural ingredient that you can get on board with and use and the reason i wanted to to dedicate a whole video to this by itself is because of what my gums have done. When I went to the dentist before, my gums were, as they were testing them like they do, my gums were at fours and fives. Now the scale goes from one to five and you want them to be a lower number. You want it to be between one and two and mine were fours and fives. So they were bad. They weren't doing good. And as you get older, your gum health is so important because that maintains the teeth and really helps you to have your teeth longer the older you get. So fours and fives are what I've always heard for the past probably five, six years. Now I'm at twos and threes just after using this for about eight months. And also I had some ones in there. So I'm really excited for my next dental appointment to see where my gum health is going. I'm hoping that it gets better and better. And I did just have to have a crown put on. And as she was doing that crown, she was just raving about how good my gums looked, which made me feel so good. And it's all because of this. I haven't changed anything else in my diet or in my oral hygiene other than this. Now, when you get this in the kit, it comes with a tongue scraper each time you get the kit and it also comes with this toothbrush now i didn't undo these because i have like six of these already but this toothbrush 
people rave about. It's super soft and it just really polishes your gums really well. And if you've never done tongue scraping, I will tell you that if you have problem with tasting things weird, you'll be shocked after you scrape your tongues for a week that you will start tasting things completely differently than you did before. Really for oral hygiene, you want to have a tongue scraper. I'm shocked at what happened to me. So I'm noticing my breath being better. I'm noticing my oral hygiene, my gums being better. Now bone, I don't know about that does have claims of the vitamins that are in here being good for your bone. And I'm sure they are, but I don't know about, you know, just putting them on your teeth as opposed to taking them into your body, obviously. But as far as all the other things, and especially the bad breath, I never have bad breath anymore. And I only do this once a day. Now, they do suggest that you do this up to 20 minutes a day. Some days I do five minutes, some days I do 20. The consistency of this is almost like a watery product, but you are putting oil in your mouth. And a lot of people do kind of have a problem with that. I don't per se. I've also had people raise the objection that doesn't it cause wrinkles in your mouth or around your lips to be swooshing like this the whole time. I don't really notice that it has Besides that, the benefits of it are so beyond anything that I'm worried about, about lip lines or anything that even if I got a few, I wouldn't even care at this point. But I haven't noticed anything like that at all. It's just really easy for me to be able to put this in my mouth and then after my skincare is done in the morning, then I just spit it into the garbage. Make sure you put it into the garbage because you don't want it to be going down the pipes with the possibility of clogging. I do also use these p Do teeth whitening strips. This is a knockoff from the Crest brand, just a lot less expensive from the Crest brand. And these work really good for me too. I use these probably once a week for maintenance, but when I first got strips and I was using them, I did like two or three different boxes to get my teeth to their widest possible. And now my dentist, she just always tells me how nice and white my teeth are. So I really appreciate both of these products. And I wanted to make sure I told you about the whitening strips, but Guru Nanda for me has nailed it. I've tried several different brands on Amazon as far as their swishing and they're okay, but none of them have this refreshing super mint taste to them. And they don't have the other added benefits of the other essential oils such as tea tree and the clove in there. So you can't taste the tea tree or the clove either. I can't stand tea tree. So just so you know that you taste the mint and you feel the oil as far as that goes. So it's done wonders for me. Get a bottle, try it out, see what you think, and report back to me. But I swear to you, my breath is so fresh. My husband has never told me in the past almost a year that I've had bad breath, and I've always had bad breath to one extent or another. So this is wonderful. I hope that you get a bottle. Let me know if you do, or let me know if you're currently using this down in the comment section, and I'll make sure that I put all of the information down there for you as well. I hope that you did enjoy seeing this very short video today, and I hope that you're all doing very well. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye, my friends. Love ya.